Right, good morning fisher people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV. And I've just arrived at Lodge Farm Fisheries. And today we are fishing, the, I think there are about seven lakes on here, but today we're fishing the Long Islands Lake. It's the one that we fished before. The lads seem to like it, they know it, so that's one we've booked. It's easy to park your car, pretty much behind most of the pegs, so that's one of the reasons we've booked it. Uh, the weather today, a little bit overcast, a little bit chillier than than it has been. Not the, not the 35 degrees here in the UK champs. It's going to be a, well, it's about 15 degrees at the minute. I don't think it's going to get above 18 or 19. It's drizzling. It's forecast 42 percent chance of rain. So we shall see how it fishes today. Um, I was hoping to do a bit of shallow fishing. I'm still going to have to set a rig up for that. You just never know the water's still warm i'm pretty sure hopefully we might get one or two up in the water so i think there are about 20 of us today cracking fishery everybody enjoys it here so i will get uh you know the uh, the funds in for today i'll go see the chap that owns it i've forgotten his name terrible with names you know terrible and i'll ask him to peg it out for us so we shall see you at the drawer in about five minutes See you soon. Right, good morning. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I've got to do it. Um, last night we hit over 2,000 subscribers, which it's blown me and Edley away. We can't believe it. I mean, we've had four, we started last October, four months off with COVID. So in eight months, 2,000 subscribers, absolutely blown away. And this is a massive thank you from both me and Headlit for all your support for our channel. And obviously, we're really glad that you're enjoying the uh, footage that we put out there. So, won't rab rabbit on too much longer. Thank you very much. Big thumbs up. Hope you keep enjoying the videos that we put out there and I hope you enjoy this next video. So see you soon. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> I had to do it on that one. See you later. Andy's packing up, he's, he's having enough barry packed up. It's been tough going today. Oh. 103. Dave Sawyer. Peg 10. 89. Peg 89. Lovely, horrible bloke. 80. Peg 80. Peg 
Mr. Incredible! 81! 81 next to Soz. Oh dear, we saw oh, no. <laughs> Good luck with that. Chris Files. I've got a rope. 101. Ronnie. Ronnie. Ninety-seven. Bob. Number nine. Nine. Eighty-eight. Dave Walker. What? Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Ninety. You're eighty or something. Eighty-nine. I'm eighty, Anna. Eighty-one. Eighty. Eighty-one. What? Andy Girl. Ninety-four. Ninety-four, Andy Girl. Says Les. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. The mighty fisherman. Me. <laughs> 93! 93. So if you've seen, I've got 93. Right folks, I'll just let me just check if it's working. One, yes, right, I'll make sure the sound's working. Right, we're just short of two hours in. The weather's been on and off, so I've not, I've not filmed anything. I clipped up to the island near a little, I don't know, it's a, it's a bush type reed type thing. And as soon as it went into a fish there, so I thought, here we, here we go, and we'll round, straight round, snag. Strange, because I, I couldn't feel a snag when I, uh, when I was casting out there, getting my distance. So I went slightly to the left, even more of a snag, I lost another one. So I've come short of it, just slightly short, and another snag, I lost three on the back, I lost three lots of gear. I don't know what's going off there, there's, the roots of the island shrunk and there's roots there, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to have to clip up a little bit more, a little bit shorter, even more. But there's definitely fish out there. I've lost one on the bomb. I've been out shallow. And all I've had on my short line were a few skimmers. And then I went shallow out there. And I've had a couple. I've had a couple of F1s, three F1s, two skimmers and a small carp. But the wind, it's just because, it's, I don't know whether you can see it's going left to right, it's, it's actually died down a little bit, but it got to the stage where I could hardly hold my pole. So I've just gone down there with a bomb, and straight round it went, and I had my first hook pull. So I've had a right calamity this morning. It's not, nothing's gone to plan. I've had to set up four times, which is not ideal, it's not great. So my plan is, there's, a, there's another platform to my right, that's going to be my margin line. I've plumbed up for that. I'm going to keep trying shallow. I've got to have another go out at the island with the method feeder, because as soon as it goes in, there's fish there, but they do look like F1s to be there, but at least there's fish there. And there are fish mulling about, keep jumping out, so I've also got the pellet waggler set up for shallow going a bit further out. I think that's got to be worth a try now. It's starting to warm up a little bit and the rain's gone, so... That has got to be an option. But I can't believe I've not had anything out there after that one, because it went straight round on the bomb, just about 13 metres. Round about there. I can't believe it's not gone round. So that's your little update. Dave Sawyer's catching quite prolifically, I think, in the corner. Dave's had a few, Jack's had a few. I think everybody's catching one or two. I'm, I've been pretty semi-skimmed so far this morning, but I only said that tackling up four times doesn't bloody help. But never mind, never mind. I am practicing a few little things. Yeah, I've been wanting to practice shallow a little bit more, even though it wasn't ideal with the wind. But now it's not looking too bad. I might actually go back out and have another go. So that's your update. We'll keep you updated as we hook into a few fingers crossed, hopefully. Right, see you soon. Right, so just fried a few eight mil pellets out towards the island. I know there's fish there and I've gone about a yard or so short and it took it on the drop. I'd love to get pellet wagger out there, but it's just blowing so hard left to right. I've just lost, had a second hook pull on the bomb as well. 
seems seems like a better fish. I think it's massive, but it seems like a better fish. Oh, it's just a mirror cap. Small mirror cap. Oh yeah, just missed him. Semi-skinned. Two and a half pounder. Quick update for you. Let's get back in and get another. I just uh, the winds. Well, it changed direction. Changed that direction twice. Um, but I know. I, I managed to see a few few more fish out there and I've gone on pellet wagon with eight mil pellet. And I've just managed to hook into this one. There's definitely a few cruising about, so I think shallow. As soon as the rain keeps away now, might start working quite well. It's been a frustrating morning. Pellet, banded pellet. And it was in about 10 seconds before it went. So let's get back out there and let's see if we can land another. A few pellets cast out. It just keeps blowing the pellet. You can't get them accurate because it blows right, left to right, then right to left. At the minute it's left to right again. Just round about there. Let's get back out and see if we can get another one. Difficult at the minute with this bloody wind blowing all over. There's fish all along that bank, but it's so snaggy. Which is why I've gone on this pellet wagon, well, hoping to hook a few and not get caught in the bloody snag. And I did get a little bit too close to the island with the pellet wagon. I saw her and there, the fish was taking those pellets. And I saw um, a branch lift up as I brought the pellet wagon towards me. So there's definitely overhanging roots and things without a shadow. Persevere. That's my little routine. Let's see if we can get a few here in a bit. I missed a couple of bites and then I hit this one. A bit of perseverance. About another half a dozen or eight casts. And it does feel bigger for certain. It's slower. Just went in the net. Oh, just. That's a lot bigger fish. Oh, that's a chunky unit. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I 
I'd love to hold him up for you, but I've not got enough in to wrist strap it, but look at that belter. He's got to be nine pound. Well, what a fantastic update. A chunky little unit. Right, we'll get back in. Bloody wind blowing like the net. <laughs> Put it out my bloody hands. There we go. I know you don't look that bad, but <laughs> I lost landing there. That was the uh, second cast, literally two minutes later, so. There we go. Another one in the net. Right, the end pegs are catching quite well. I didn't have any more on the uh, pellet waggler, but I kept feeding the 13 metre line. First put in. Let's just hope we can keep it on. fish knocking about, swimming up and down now that you can see. I couldn't see them earlier. You can see one or two. Dave Sawyer end peg is catching really well. John Whitehead end peg is catching really well. And, and Dave Walker end peg, he's catching well as well, to my right. Take some beating end pegs, don't they? <clears throat> I don't think this is an F1. to go into the reeds. I've not got bullying gear on me that is getting in there. Get out. It's not bad. It just it likes it in there, doesn't it? Get out. Certainly know where to go, these fishies, don't they? And now he's going to try and get on the bloody platform, I can see. Got him. And that was the shallow. See if we can get another. Nice little mirror cap. And another decent update. <laughs> it sounds like we need quite a few more though. Let me click it. One, two, three, four. I've got 20 odd pound. This has been quite difficult to say. And apparently on here, peg 103 broke the record. 290 pounds or something. 290 odd pounds on Sunday. That's round the other side of the lake. Oh, well, uh, we're not going to be anywhere near that today. Right, see you soon. Uh, as, you, as you can see, I don't know whether you can see, but everything seems wrong about it. The wind's blowing left to right, so it's difficult to hold my pole. 
Well, I get to catapult some pellets out, and the shadow's casting left to right. I just, it's just not right at all. So difficult to get your casting accurate, and the shadow as well can't be helping. But uh, you try and uh, flick it the other way into the wind, and it's just a right mess. And what I do like to do, I'm not too keen on giving it this too much, especially with that shadow. You watch it, I'll go under now. What I do like to do is lift, let the wind take it and just drop it. I'm pretty sure these fish must be getting clued up to waving poles and slapping and I've had quite a bit of success just a few pellets and just dropping it. And now and again, I'll just give it a quick flick over. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but it's just what I feel comfortable with. And this wind, God, it's just been a nightmare trying to when it drops, your pole flicks it left because you've got pressure going, pushing it. It's like now it's wanting to go right. And again, it's really kicking to right now. It's so difficult to get presentation bang on. I've just landed uh, another one. I didn't video that one. I'm lifting it up, pulling my pole to the left, and then it, the bait drops to the right and keeps tightening. But as you can see, they're bending my rod now. I'm really strained. It's, it's not easy. So if anybody's got any ideas what you do when it's like this, I'd like to hear. Because <laughs> I find it really difficult. <laughs> but I am pretty semi-skimmed. Pretty new at this, pretty semi-skimmed. But I have uh, I've been catching one or two. And it's all good practice. I know I'm fishing a match with the old boys, but you've got to practice somewhere, haven't you? I mean, as you've seen on summer days that we've had, it's been blowing abs absolute holy, so I've not been able to practice as much as what I've wanted. And you see, I'm just trying to hold it with my elbow and my knee. And then uh, it's just blown the other way, the wind there. I know it's looking like it's blowing left to right, but it blew the pole to the right then. Uh, semi skim catty pulled in. That's an art in itself. It's not as easy as these top guys make it look, I'll tell you. Oh, bloody dreading catty pulls when it touches that knot. I'm sure you've all done it. Perfect. So I just thought I'd let you have a look at the problems that I'm having trying to do this shallow fishing. It's a bit of a and there, I'm sure if it was a, bit, a little bit calm and in presentation were better, I'm sure I'd be doing hell of a lot better. Typical. Why won't it go under when camera's on? Like you see there, I'm really holding it now. That's, so that's, that's the problems I'm having at the minute. So, let me turn you off and we'll see you when we get another. Been really quiet for a lot, a lot of people. Apart from the end pegs, it's typical in it. It's always end pegs. But I just did something I haven't done for a while. Put th th four balls, little balls of ground bait down there, imitating like a method feeder going down. Whoa! It's wanting to go. It's not happy. It's up this one. Get out of those reeds.
right in the reeds, ladies and gentlemen. Slang the clutch off and it resulted in this mighty little fish. Slang the clutch off, very vicious bites. You must slang your clutch off if you're going to go. It's literally like a top two and two. And it's straight into Middle of the Lake in seconds. So, like I said, I don't really like putting too much bait. You end up with lots of liners. That's just the way. I like to do it, but it worked. A little chocolate orange, literally just a little underarm throw, four balls of ground bait, one, well, three ground bait, one micros, and then I went in with micros on the method feed about 20 minutes later, and whack straight round, get in. See you soon. There's about half an hour left, 20, 35 minutes. Been in my margins. I had another hook pull. I've had skimmers down there, but Jack, he just told me he's had three fish around over 10 pound. <laughs> and it has been tough, and he's packing up, he's, he's had enough baddies packed up. It's been tough going today. Oh, that's another hook, well that's four today. Oh, dearie me, size 12. No, oh, sorry, it's a KKMB 14. Shouldn't be losing them on that. That was a nice fish as well. Always the biggest that you lose. God damn it. Half the job pound. I think Jack's got that much for three fish. But he says he ain't got much else. Let's just get back out there. Yeah, I could have done with that one. Just to bump my weight up. Felt like a five pound pluser. God damn it. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see if we can get a, if we can get another one. I'm gonna go back in my margin in the, I'm gonna get this five minutes back in the margin. I wanna look, see if any big fish has turned up, so we'll see you soon. Right then, fish people, all the way in. Right, it's been a funny old day today. Um, the record on that lake got broke on Sunday with 200, I don't know, 70 odd or 80 odd or 90 odd, or whatever it was. It was a nearly 300 pound weight. So we were expecting big things from Peg 103, I think uh, Bill said. As you saw, I drew Peg 93. Never fished that area before. Looked okay, got the island and the first. When I clipped up, no snags. And I got it nice and tight. And I ended up losing three rigs altogether. Um, and now it's uh, that island must have shrunk, and all I can think of is that there's roots there. So when you get a bite, the fish go into the roots, that's it. So I lost that. And in fact, when I was on the pellet waggle, I was going just short of the island. And there must be some bits hanging out because I also lost my pellet waggler. So I've had a bit of a nightmare day there. It's not ideal, set it up three or four times. Um, no excuses. Um, I think the area where, I mean, Andy, Andy to my left, he packed up. And there's only 11 out of 20 weighed in today. So it's not exactly fished, brilliant. It has been hard work and, and I dare say, I think if that wind hadn't been quite as strong as what it was, 
think I would have had quite a few more on the waglet and shallot on the pole. Um, but it wasn't, wasn't happening. The margins, lovely margin, nice and solid bottom right next to the other platform. I thought I will guarantee some fish there. Um, I lost a lump, second put in, but after that it was just skimmers and roach. Seem to be having a lot of that this year um, in the margins. Don't, don't matter what I put, I even put an 8mm pellet on, hard pellet, and it's bobbing about. And just, there was one bow wave when I lifted, but I don't think they were there in numbers. I don't like too many in there. I mean, I know the cap tend to come in and go back out and come in and go back out. That's right. I've seen them do it, so... That's one of the reasons I don't like piling loads of baiting, because I've done that. Done that. It's great seat tails in there, but God, but it foul lookers and liners. Drives me mad that, so I don't do that no more. Um, I had a few, on, in fact I've had a few, a couple of fish on pretty much everything I've tried. I've had a few on the bomb, but it, they didn't keep coming. I've had, I, the only thing I didn't have fish on was the short line. Apart from a couple of little skimmers. So it's been a bit of a semi-skim day. I've found it, the last few, well I found it quite difficult most of the year this year i don't know whether i'm not drawing well or i'm doing something wrong I don't feel like i'm doing anything wrong. i'm quite happy with how the float sits the, the way i feed now the hooks are tied better i mean i've lost everybody loses fish i've lost four decent fish today but four is not like 13 or 14 fish in a big competition you know big lumps it's, it's not that many and i can't really make any excuses I, I, casting nicely to the island that snagged in me head in a little bit it seemed to go on all all the way along the island so i think it's better for knowing that a little bit knowing where to actually drop that and i did find about a yard off the island seemed to be snag free but the, the bites were um weren't materializing as quick as when i got quite close but as soon as your rod went round snag lost all your gear so it was a strange one um i ended up getting a few on the bomb just short of the island so yeah, I found it pretty difficult today, to say the least. I feel like it's been hard work for me. I ended up with 36 pounds, 38, and it's pretty much mid table. Just above mid table, looking at that. Yeah, just above mid table. Jack had a few, I thought he got more than me, but he hadn't. Dave in the corner, I thought he, he, he caught plenty of fish, but they're only small fish, Dave Walker. So we'll get on to the results. I wanted to use paste today. I wanted to give it a go. I forgot my bloody paste pot again. It's twice on trot I've left that in garage. It's a, it's a method I don't use a lot. I use it now and again. And when you're not in the habit of using it, I, keep, I just keep forgetting it. So I'm going to take it with me next time. Right in fourth place, my mate Bob, Bob Huntington. He's always there, thereabouts. On peg 88, 66 pounds zero four and if you do if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what these weights are it's it's digital scales measured in one hundredths so it's 66 pounds and four hundredths of a pound so there you go in third so what a mighty fisherman you are bob well done son always in the money and old ronnie can't remember last time we were in money but he's been absent for a while with illness but he's back today he's coming with 68 pounds 92 from peg 97 and these year that's for third place oh what a mighty fisherman you are on it and well done son really chuffed for you well done pal and in second place end peg i don't like saying it but i think he'll admit it he's peg wasted a little bit today i think he i think he could have done better and i think he, he's kicking himself he went on the pace later and he said it was too late he said if i'd gone on pace from the off he reckons he'd have slaughtered because he slaughtered them for an hour or so at the end and he ended up with just short of 80 pounds 78 84. so even though you have think you've been peg wasted a little bit dave you're still a mighty fisherman today and in second place so oh, well done dave sawyer and in first place he loves it here he told me about this place he knows how to fish this place always asks for this pond the pace man hemp and paste He's not slaughtered us, he's just snuck in with £80.06 on peg 84. So, Kev, you are this week's old boy's mightiest fisherman. That's four wins out of five. He's not done three on the trot. There's only about three people that have done that. 
won't mention names, but I'm one of them. Da -de -da -de -da. <laughs> it's not happening this year. It's a poor year for me this year. Can't seem to get a win under my belt. But uh, well done to you guys. Um, I think the decent weight for a tough day because it has. It, it seems like it has fish tough all the way around. The other weights are sort of between, well, no weigh-ins, and then it's sort of 30 pounds to 60 pounds. So that's your sort of average sort of weight. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today's little insights to Lodge Farm Fisheries. It's a cracking fishery. It's a shame it didn't quite produce what we were expecting. We expected big things today, but I know it can produce some great weights all the way around. Mint fishery, I can't, I can't bullet up enough. If you've never been, come and give it a go, it's cracking. So, and thank you, Bill, for looking after us today, picking it out for us. Cheers, pal, well, well done, nice job done. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget, press the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you will get all our uh, videos as we upload them. So once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Saturday. GoPro, stop recording. No, why even bother? Please.